I don't know, something down there pretty big. There it is. It didn't give a the metal grunt, so it's a loom, that's why. Old can. <laughs> Just never know. to do this with one hand so use the plastic put it over the, the loop like that it's not there and then just dig and keep repeating that process until I can find out what it is how deep it is Definitely need a cameraman for this. Or some chest rig or something else. I use both my hands. Um, also, good practice after you dig a hole finding a berry back up. I see lots of miners do that all the time they lay all these holes and you know, they're using somebody else's um, even public land. Just make it a good practice to always uh, cover your hole back up when you're done just a good ethical thing to do when you're, you're out mining you know, if it's your own property your own backyard if you don't want to cover your whole holes up that's that's on you if somebody comes and says, Thing, you know, you, with the metal detector, you can discriminate out the metal just because this one here gives a little grunt sound. That's because it's metal, but it's something uh, on ferrous metal or something that it doesn't determine anything. So, an old brass 22 shell. That's it. Go back.
back over and I'll see. Yeah, gone. Oh, oh, and there it is. It's another one. Found it. 222 shells. Yeah, wasn't wasn't a gold nugget or a ring, but on to the next. So what I'm doing is pressing that little button right there says let me see if I focus on it. That one says iron checker. more of it down there looks like I broke it off when I hit it. Probably maybe an old stove part or a cast iron pan, maybe. Piece of a like an old pot belly stove, like a footing of it or something. Definitely old cast steel, whatever it is. I got another hit on a piece of metal here. And I see I'm starting to hit some rust right there, so I think I found it. Yeah. Sounds like a big piece of metal, too. See all that rust? Oh, that's what it is. Look at that. Looks like an old pipe.
tipo that pipe just toast full of sand looks like a pretty good sized pipe too old defunct pipe and I bet you it went right there to that trough that's the pipe from it strange thing is it's going that way like over the neighbor's property okay well something else right in here small but I didn't get a metal front on it. That's all my tools. I'm not getting the metal grunt on it. So, it looks like my batteries are starting to die. So, I think this will be my last dig for the day. One thing I forgot to mention too here is if you're getting into metal detecting, um, you'll have to ditch your jewelry until when you're doing this, the jewelry is going to be setting it off. But it's kind of self explanatory on that. Just thought I'd point it out. Even too, if you got any like, excess metal on your shoes, uh, could set it off. So. Didn't bring my little pin pointer. Makes this kind of easier.
Oh, found it. There it is. Piece of that pipe, I think. Well, something, some piece of steel. Still a piece in there, so. So when you get a something like that, I don't see fell on. I'm taking a little bit off at a time. Oh, it's out of there now. So I can dump that one. Put that one back up. So it's in there. Another little piece of steel. That's it. That's what was down there. Sometimes it'd be like a pain in the ass. All that digging right there to find that. And then so you just take your pile, scoop it back over, cover your hole back up. Somebody doesn't come along and trip on it.